To disassemble a Miniature 6 pager, the first thing you'll need to do is remove the clip and the battery, as shown here in this picture. The next thing to do is remove the rubber plugs and screws from the pager. There are four screws shown here. One, two, three, four. And each of these holes is filled with a rubber plug. These little plugs here are over the screws underneath the battery. These larger plugs are in the back near the clip. So once you've removed the plugs, you can then unscrew these four screws from the back. Once the four screws have been removed, you can take the back housing off the pager. The back housing is not secured in any way. There's no clips or other attachments that need to be removed. You just simply grab a hold of one side, um, and this picture is shown on this front side, and work your way around the housing and just crack the housing open. Once you have it cracked open like this, the housing will come straight off the back. This is a picture of the pager with the back housing removed. You'll notice the vibrator is on the back housing itself. It's held in place by this piece of rubber which is wrapped around the vibrator. If you're going to change the back housing, you'll want to just pull this vibrator out of the slot that it's sitting in and place the vibrator in your new back housing. To reassemble the pager, you simply just put the back housing back on the pager, uh, tighten the screws back down, and put the rubber plugs in the holes. Um, the rubber plugs at the top where the clip is are slanted, and you'll want to make sure you put it in in the correct angle. This is a closer look at the inside of a Minute or Six pager. The back has been removed, but nothing else has been altered about the pager. You can see there is one circuit board here. Uh, unlike other pagers, this Minute or Six only has one circuit board, which contains all the components on the uh, pager. Here is the battery contacts. You can see they're soldered directly to the circuit board. The programming contacts and charging contacts are attached to the circuit board through this ribbon cable. This ribbon cable is removable, so if you do need to change the how or the uh, battery contacts because of corrosion, it'll make the uh, replacement very easy. The switches are not actually attached to the circuit board itself. The switches are held in place by this plastic piece. There is a ribbon here that connects the switches to the circuit board. So if you wanted to remove the circuit board, you would detach this ribbon, you would detach this ribbon, you would remove this knob and this knob. Underneath these knobs are nuts, and you'll have to remove a, a nut that's underneath of both of these knobs, and then this plastic piece comes out. Once the plastic piece is out, you can remove the circuit board after the screw here, which holds the circuit board in place, is removed. We'll have another video on the details of the internals of the Minute or Six Pager. If you have any questions about any of our videos or wish to contact us to get more information about our products, you can go to our website at pwservice.com. You can give us a call on the phone at 800-822-2180. Our email address is sales at pwservice.com. And our physical address is 1748 Independence Boulevard, B6, Sarasota, Florida, 34234.